Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I'm really excited today because I am working on my piece for my Patreon group challenge, the Nate's Art Lab. Uh, I like to set really fun challenges and this month um, it's all about our favorite Christmas sweets. I have a huge sweet tooth and um, I said, you know, just whatever your favorite Christmas dessert is, use that as a color inspiration for your pour. So I think some people are gonna try and do some things that are um, uh, realistic and, and look like their, <laughs> their favorite treats. Um, and I'm definitely gonna do something similar. I, uh, I have a huge sweet tooth and I had a really hard time picking uh, one favorite. So I think I'm gonna, I decided to go with a classic which is the um, uh, peppermints, you know, candy canes, all of that kind of th stuff. Um, so I've got my color scheme worked out here to uh, red and white and green and white, because I really like the green ones too. So <laughs> I'm gonna do them both together and I'm gonna do a Nautilus pour on this previously used canvas. It's a 24 by 24. So I'm going to layer my five chambered split cup. I'm gonna leave the middle chamber open and I'm gonna layer this white, red, white green now the white and the when it travels through the chambers or the the uh, the slots in the uh, dish strainer here um, it d does have a lot of blending so I'm assuming there's going to be a little bit of pink because of the white and red but I'm okay with that because um, you know pink is a pretty color too <laughs> so I'm going to put down a base coat this is uh, uh, chrome acrylic acrylic essentials white and I've thinned this down to a very thin consistency um, I'll spread that with my uh, oxo spatula and then spin it out to uh, to level it all out but this is very thin the base coat job really is just to help these paints flow so these paints are much thicker this is also chrome acrylic acrylic essentials in white uh, but you can see that it leaves a mound on a mound on a mound this is very thick I might actually thin this down just a little bit. We'll see. I am completely out of Floetrol. So um, yeah, see this one is a, uh, a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna uh, thin down that white one. Um, I'm out of Floetrol, so I am working with a pouring medium that I'm not used to. This is just uh, PVA glue and gloss varnish together. And glue likes to dry very quickly. So to give myself some more working time, I thin it down using some Golden GAC 800. Um, I don't need the extra binder effect, but one of the, one of the great things about uh, GAC 800 is that it uh, slows the drying time down. So I'm gonna add a healthy dose of this to both of them. There's already some in there, but I'm gonna add this and thin it out a little bit and hopefully it won't set up on me right in the middle of my pour. Let's just get these consistencies so they match. And then I'll layer it up. Layer up the split cup. See, that and that are much closer. I might add a little bit more to that too. And this white Chroma Acrylic Acrylic Essentials is um, uh, a craft paint and it's not quite a heavy body, but it's definitely thicker than a regular tube paint, say a, um, an Amsterdam paint. So um, I always end up having to thin this down to match the other consistencies. Let me just stir that up a little more. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit to the green. See where we're at. It sounds like my neighbor's having a very loud conversation. I hope you can't hear that on the on the video. That's good. That's good. That's still a little thick. Let's add some more to this one. Christmas, baby. 
Reindeer's coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey off his hat Putting on the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year There's something that happens with sleigh There's a ring when December is When the children are singing Yeah Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something that
Well, doesn't this look delicious? <laughs> I'm super happy with this. It really does look like um, uh, like a peppermint. I'm super happy. That's really cool. And you know, I was mildly worried about having using red and green together like this because they can create mud if they blend too much together. Uh, but having the white in between there, I think helped keep the colors separate and uh, definitely have the Nautilus shape. And yeah, let's take a look at the, the details here. The, um, I was really tempted to um, do a little balloon smash in the middle there to bring that together, but it looks like another little candy treat right in the center, so I left it. I think that's really cute. I love that center, and I think it all pulled together really well. Um, there is some red and green together, but look at that, it doesn't make mud. Yay! And there is some pink, but uh, there's some really bright, vibrant red. And I love the way that this all came out. I, when I do my Nautilus pours, I generally, oh, that green is pretty here too. Um, I generally um, spin it until it goes at least over um, the edges. But this was super well balanced on the canvas. If I can get up high enough so you can see the whole thing. Um, it was really well balanced and I wanted it to look like a peppermint. So I didn't, I stopped before it went all the way over the edges. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I hope you like it too. Um, now for the, uh, the art lab, our uh, collab, uh, there are uh, several people who have uh, YouTube channels that are part of the Patreon group. And so they will be following me. There's a playlist in the video description. Please follow along if you're here on premiere day. Um, if not, uh, go ahead and watch them all. The uh, playlist automatically directs you to the very next video in the playlist. So uh, you only have to click on it once and it does all the work for you. Makes it very easy. Uh, but at the end of this video, immediately following this, um, there are several members of the Art Lab who do not have YouTube channels, so I've included their photos and descriptions also, so stick around for that. Um, if you'd like to join us, we have a lot of fun um, all the time sharing ideas and sh showing our work that we do throughout the month and asking questions and giving advice, and it's a really fun, active group. I'm really happy with all of my people in the Art Lab. Um, and if you'd like to join us, the uh, website is patreon.com and just search for Nate's Art Lab, but I also have the link in the video description. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you'd like to see more and go mix up some paints and be fearless.